everyone, it's Angela from Clad Fitty and today I'm sharing how to make different sauces out of polymer clay to decorate miniature cakes, desserts and savoury foods. So to start out I have a lot of different types of liquid clay and I like to use these as the base for a majority of my sauces. They're all liquid versions of polymer clay and I like to use these in multiple ways. I like to mix them with different materials like chalk pastel powder, balls of clay and more to achieve all kinds of effects. These liquid clays all differ in transparency or how clear they are and also the viscosity which is how thick they are. So I've baked some on a little sheet of glass so that you can see how they look compared to one another. The Sculpey White is a white liquid clay and this is great to use as a base to make white or pale sauces. The Bacon Bond is actually quite thick and it can be added to thicken mixtures. I like to use it on round things like ice cream because it stops the sauce from running down the sides and getting too messy. The Translucent Clay is great for making semi-transparent sauces or ones that aren't super clear or also super opaque or solid. The Fimo Deco Gel is super translucent and it's great for making sauces that are really clear, like fruit based ones. To mix the sauces together, I use a flat spatula type tool. If you don't have one like this, you can use things like sewing needles, toothpicks, popsicle sticks or even a spoon that you use for crafting. And I also like to use a piece of baking paper as my mixing surface. So now onto the sauces. These are all sweet examples, but you can use them to make savoury sauces too. The first one that I'm showing how to make is a lemon curd. So for this one, I'm starting with a small ball of yellow polymer clay and squeezing out some translucent liquid Sculpey. And then I mix the whole thing up. adding in some bacon bond as I go just to smooth it out while also thickening the mixture. Then I like to scrape in some chalk pastel powder and I like to do this in dark yellow, pale yellow and dark orange. And lastly, to make things more realistic, I'm cutting off a slice of a lemon cane to place on top. And now onto some chocolate sauce. So for this one, I like to use Bacon Bond as my base. So just mixing it together with some brown clay. and adding in some more bacon bond until it's a smooth consistency. And then I like to scrape in some brown chalk pastel so that it darkens it a tiny bit. And as I mentioned earlier, you can change things up for a savory idea where you can use this method with red clay and chalk pastel to make ketchup, tomato or pizza sauce. And next up, I'm making some honey. And for that, I like to start with Fimo Deco Gel. And then scrape in some brown, orange and yellow chalk pastel. To make it a little bit thicker, I'm swishing in a small ball of translucent clay.
and then I just keep adding small amounts of Fimo Deco Gel until it's nice and smooth. And then lastly some Bacon Bond to thicken it up just a tiny bit. So next I'm making some berry sauce. And to start I'm squeezing out some Fimo Deco Gel and then mixing in a tiny amount of chalk pastel powder. I like to start with light pink, then dark pink, and finally purple. And to make things look more realistic, I've made a tiny blueberry and raspberry and cut a slice of a strawberry cane to place on top of my sauce. And next I'm making some vanilla custard. And this one is super easy, I just squeeze out some white liquid clay and mix in some yellow chalk pastel. and dark yellow until I get a light yellow mixture. And now onto some maple syrup. I like to squeeze out a tiny bit of translucent liquid Sculpey and then mix in some brown chalk pastel until it's a nice medium brown colour. And this mixture would be great for making toffee or caramel with different colours. So now that all the sauces are made, I've gone ahead and made some single pancakes. And I'll leave a link in the description box below sharing how I made them. And now I'm baking everything in my oven using my package's instructions. And then once all the sauces have cooled down completely, you'll see that they have a matte finish to them. You can leave them as is or you can paint on some gloss glaze to make things nice and shiny. If you bake a lot of sauce at once, you can store it away in plastic paint pots for later use. I like to use this type with the lid connected to it. All I do is take any excess sauce mixtures that I have and scrape them into the pots and they're ready to use for the next time I need them. And that's everything on how I make polymer clay sauces. The great thing is that you can mix and match lots of different mixture combinations to get the look that you're after for all sorts of foods. So don't be afraid to experiment and try different things and see what you come up with. And that's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!